the painting of a latte from the top and I wanted to play around with like henna designs inside of the foam. These are the beginnings of cards that I'm making for a class that I'll be teaching this month. It's a, it'll be a tea party combined with an art uh, section. And you guys said in a video last month in December of the Christmas bulbs, you wanted to see how I turned these little types of drawings into cards. So I'm going to show you how to turn those drawings into cards. It'll be the same techniques, uh, just different little paintings. So I will get to that. So this is the next step where I just distress, give the edges a little bit of a distressed look. This will make them stand out against the next, the background papers that I'll show you in the next step. All right, so now I've cut out the borders and I will be doing the same thing with a black marker on the edges of the borders that I did around the drawings themselves. All right, some of my designs felt a little unfinished, so I went back and I'm adding some more detail scraps of paper to them. And next you take the mounting squares and you stick them, they're just a little pack of uh, mounting squares. You can use dots. There's a whole bunch of different types you can use. I'll let you guys decide that. And the smaller pieces, I will cut them in half quite often. Then you just peel the little stickers off, and then I'll put it on the paper, which I also can't do while I'm holding my camera. That's pretty much it. And then you'll take these and put them on the cards. Here are some of my finished cards. All inspired by T and coffee. of a latte from the top and I wanted to play around with like henna designs inside of the foam. I'm not quite sure I achieved that but I'm gonna keep playing with it because I really like the painting. Either way, and this is a watercolor.